So I had severe asthma as I was growing up. Um, I struggled every day and every night to try and breathe. So one of the things that I really was motivated by was swimming. So I grew up in the Shetland Islands, which is a very far north island in Scotland. It's often very cold and, and the climate is, is not conducive to being outside, particularly not for someone with severe asthma. Unlike the outside environment, poles where I came from are, are indoors and they are warm. And so that is an environment where I could find a way to exercise and to build my strength and to build my health. So I can clearly recall the first day I took Ventolin. It, was a, it is one of my earliest memories, but it's a very, very significant one. I could run, I could play, I could um, basically be like everyone else. So in my pursuit of science as a career, it comes from a very strong desire to make a difference in medical science and to give other people that feeling of relief. So being nominated to represent women in STEM at UQ is a tremendous honour and a very big surprise. So I hope that this acts as an opportunity for me to highlight the opportunities for women in STEM and also that um, women may feel that they can seek me out for advice and mentorship. So my advice for women entering this field is to seek out a strong mentor um, that you can call on for advice and help and someone that you really trust and also to celebrate your successes along the way and to promote what you've done.